1920 to 42, I was arrested, uh, was in prison for a year, sent to Auschwitz for also nearly a year, and then to Bergen-Belsen. When I entered, when I arrived in Auschwitz, I already knew what was going on in Auschwitz. So I arrived there, uh, you know, thinking that I would uh, next step is the gas chamber. The world was full of rumors in those days. You know, one heard that there was gas chambers in Auschwitz. One didn't want to believe it, but by the time I arrived there, I knew it was a fact. So if you, you arrived in Auschwitz, you uh, came off the train. The people were divided into five. They then faced selection. And selection meant that somebody looked at you, a German doctor, decided whether you were capable of work or not. And the system was the same. Any, any person, no matter how old or young you are, you carried a young child, you went automatically to the gas chamber. Didn't matter. He didn't tell you, give this child to somebody else. You could have been 19 years old or 20 or 60. Whoever had a child carrying a little child in their hand automatically went to the gas chamber. But we really had no time or a chance to reflect yet on the separation because everything was done with such brutality, with such screaming and yelling. They opened up the doors and they screamed with all different languages. They had people in striped clothes um, who work in the camp, and they were yelling Hungarian, Yiddish, Polish, German. And right away, there were the Kappas and Block Elders who started to beat us into line, and the SS with their dogs who were barking, and they were trained to tear anybody to pieces if one did not obey their orders. Male and female, they were divided with children going with their mothers. Males on one side, females, women, and uh, their children on the other side. I'm holding on to my sister Goldie, my little brother Tully, and we're just being pulled apart, never to see each other again. The women that they looked healthy to Dr. Mengele, went one way and went to the ovens, to gas chambers, this way. So my mother and my little baby sister, 12 years old, were on one side and put my older sister, who was 14, 15, to the other side. And she wanted to be with her mother and her sister. So she crossed the line back and she got hit with a, a rifle butt to go back there. And she's the one that survived. My mother and my little sister went to the gas chambers. Those who were selected to work were then what we call in Texas, branded and sheared, meaning they had a tattoo which gave them a number and their hair was sheared, but all of their hair, even their bodily hair, was sheared because they recycled this. They used the hair to line submarines, to serve as detonators, even to create fabric. They gave us a bundle of clothes, uh, striped clothes, and they gave us uh, a tag a might, on a string. Mine was 41212. From this moment on, I was no longer Ben Lesser. 41212 was my number. <laughs> 